You know, being in Memphis like this affords us some, uh, some uh, liberties that we wouldn't have in uh, most of the places that we sing, like having Jimmy here. Um, and a lot of you know, know all this already, but just for those of you, maybe tonight's your first night and you don't know a lot of what's gone on the last few years with us. When Jimmy made the decision to retire about six years ago, we had the daunting task of trying to find someone to fill those shoes. Um, and uh, God provided a young man who just stepped right in and, and just took off running and did a, did a fabulous job. And Mike, uh, just a couple of years ago, was, uh, was diagnosed with ALS. If you were here Thursday night, you saw a miracle as he came out on stage and sang for you. And I know a lot of you would love to hear him sing again. Uh, so would you make welcome again, Mr. Michael Helwig. a long way <laughs> now that I'm winded <laughs> let's sing a song <laughs> you say when go ahead Billy <sighs> and we're he does not want to play this hey let's let's find this somewhere else and we're not going to sing a song yeah he's not going to play that song hang on just a minute let me see we'll play another one then <laughs> I'll sing whatever you play. Okay, I'll find something here. Whatever you sing will be worth waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Well, should I tell a joke, Billy? <laughs> what do you think, Wayne? Well, you really need to hear this song. Hang on, just tell a joke while I, while I do this. The band is not cooperating. Well... I got a dirty joke to tell no, you. No, 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 no. It. <laughs> it, it's the only one I can think of right now. It was a white horse that fell in the mud. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. <laughs> hey, that's we got a computer that's kind of dinking with our computer. Y'all stop that. Let me yeah, see if I can X this out. We could just sit here awkwardly waiting. Yeah, we can do that. While he's doing that, I will tell you a little story real quick. It has to do with our product. Uh, I think we were in Nebraska. I'm not going to tell you what our product is because it's back there. You've seen it. And uh, if you haven't, come by and see it tonight. But we, we were in Nebraska, and Billy was doing the product pitch. And he said, <laughs> our CDs are $15 for the first one, $10 for the second and so on and so forth. And so when we got through singing, I went back to the table and waited, and this little lady came up. She was about this tall, had really, really gray hair and a walker. And she said to me, I'd like the second CD. <laughs> and I, I said to her, ma'am, I think you misunderstood. And she said, no, he said, the second one is $10. And I said, right, but you have to buy the first one for 15 and the second one is 10 She said, give me number two. <laughs> I did. <laughs> no sense in arguing. Hey, I, th I, think we've, I think we've got this working, and, and the reason, I know it's kind of an odd situation to have this happen in the middle of your set, but this song is too good, and you need to hear this guy sing it. So thank you for your patience as we uh, uh, make this happen. Here we go. <clears throat> the love of God is greater far than tongue or pen could ever tell. It goes beyond the highest star and reaches to the lowest hell. The guilty pair bowed down with care. God gave his son to win. His erring child, he reckoned. 
reconciled and pardoned from his sin. Oh, love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless and strong, it shall forevermore endure the saints and angels' song. Could we with ink the oceans fill, and were the skies of parchment made, were every stalk on earth a quill, and every man a scribe by trade, to write the love of God above, would drain the oceans dry, nor could the scroll contain the whole, though stretched from sky to sky. Have you enjoyed the Blackwood Brothers in their hometown of Memphis, Tennessee? Let them hear from you. Thank you. Stay out here. Thank you. Great job.